All right, wounded war veterans who put their lives on the line to protect our freedom are being asked to pay back bonuses that they got from the military to enlist. Some of these soldiers have lost limbs or their eyesight. Should they have to pay up? Let's talk right now to Pennsylvania Congressman Jason Altmaier, who is trying to fix the problem. He joins us live today from Pittsburgh. Thank you very much, Congressman, for getting up so early. Good morning. Glad to be here. Uh, yesterday, we told the story of a young Jordan Fox, went over to Iraq, uh, served his country proudly, was injured, lost his eyesight, and then he got a, a bill from the Pentagon for 3000 bucks. Give us our money back. What are you going to do to fix that? Well, I have legislation pending in Congress to make sure that every serviceman or woman who is injured in combat and forced to leave the military receives their full enlistment bonus. Good. Unfortunately, right now, and this is hard to believe, it's the policy of the Department of Defense to deny those brave men and women the remainder of their bonuses. Oh. Uh, Congressman, why would our U.S. government treat our servicemen and women so shabbily? Well, I can't speak to why this is. As I go around talking about this issue and talking about the bill that I've introduced, I, I hear all the time, you've got to be kidding me. There has to be more to the story because right. it just doesn't make any sense. But that has been the policy of the Department of Defense. Well, um, the Pentagon was watching yesterday when we did this story. And in fact, we credited you for uh, introducing this legislation, Congressman. And apparently uh, the Pentagon's coming on in an hour to say that uh, uh, Jordan Fox is not going to have to pay it. But we received a whole, just like you, traveling around the country hearing a lot of stories of people saying, hey, that, that happened to me. How do we make sure that the people, the hundreds or thousands of people who have gotten these letters, hey, repay the bonus, how do we make sure they don't get shafted? Well, I'm glad it looks like we were able to resolve the issue for our soldier here in Pittsburgh. But as you said, there are thousands more across the country that have been harmed by this policy of the Department of Defense. And what we need to do is say, if you are injured in combat, you have fulfilled your obligation. That's right. the crux of the matter. The Department of Defense says if you're not able to serve out the remaining portion of your time that you haven't done what you signed up to do. I think if you've served this country honorably and bravely and you're injured in combat in service of this country, you have done what we've asked you to do and we deserve uh, we should pay them everything that they deserve. Absolutely. Well, you're right, Congressman. This is just one of those bureaucratic rules that needed a little injection of humanity, and, and thank you for doing that. And we'll talk to the Pentagon an hour from now That's about right. this. Thank okay. you. Thanks, thank you. Congressman. All right.